Hello, welcome my wonderful audience, Live It Up. Uh, right now on set I have two guys that certainly know how to live it up. With me now are Dr. Rob Lancer and Donnie Brady. Welcome guys, how are you? Great, thank nice you. Time. Thanks for having us. Good, now I know you're former uh, NFL. You've been doing a ton of wonderful things. And Dr. Lancer, we got to meet on a uh, project for you because you are this huge personality now doing great things at your new studio. DRL, is that your DRL project? Studios now we've created to uh, empower youth uh, and kind of spread the word. I um, consider myself the voice for the voiceless to create a place where teens, young adults, parents, educators can come and really learn about um, mental health and understand that it is not only is possible, but we will make it possible for them to overcome uh, challenges when it comes to mental health. And I want to talk about your mental health only because I know you really well enough and I know the challenges that you've overcome. So can you give us just a brief background on that? So starting at the age of, of five or eight, I, I grew up with anxiety and it kind of manifests itself worse and worse. Um, what was unique about me, I guess, um, is that I kind of lived two lives. I lived a hidden life of anxiety and fear and torture, and I also lived a very uh, blessed life where I had plenty of friends, sports. Um, so it was kind of like living two different lives, but that made me realize my mission in life was to um, help others overcome um, mental health issues, specifically anxiety and fear. Uh, it was not an easy journey for me, but knowing that I was kind of there to overcome what I had to overcome to help others made that meaning in my life kind of really pushed me through and helped me persevere through all the struggles. And it was actually paralyzing for you. It, it, was, it was quite paralyzing, but I, people said, well, well, why did you kind of continue? I said, I didn't have a choice. I had to continue. And, and, and actually, it, it made me appreciate life more. It didn't make me bitter. It made me appreciate life more and understand how just how tender life is and how we are all blessed just to wake up in the morning. And people say, when's your birthday? I say, my birthday is every morning that I wake up healthy is my birthday. Absolutely. Fantastic. Right. And I know you're an empowered person because I know you've gone through challenges in your life. Uh, so what, what helped you get out of your own way? Um, what made it better? What made it better was, I think, that just trying to stay focused and always talking to myself, writing things down and always just persevering through the tough times, even though there were some failures, trying to make it to the NFL. That was something I always wanted to pursue. I always wanted to follow, but there were some failures and there were some struggles. And like Rob said, I had my anxieties as well, but I just kept on believing in myself. And no matter what, every day I woke up, I said to myself that I can make it and I will do it no matter what the obstacles were, I was able to accomplish it. So just keep pushing. Because we're not, we are not, um an accumulation of our failures, but we are an accumulation of our perseverance and, and our will to survive. Well, one, one of my favorite quotes is by Winston Churchill. It says, uh, success is going from failure to failure without losing your enthusiasm. And I have <laughs> that in my office. And, um, you know, in our, our world, people tend to gravitate towards the negative. Uh, most of the, the, the news that is projected is, is on the negative. And, you know, we live in a negatively fed world. So, Having positivity is, is an important or vital key uh, to living and understanding that failures are basically just setups for, for comebacks and that failures are clues for success is the way to live life. I mean, both in the mental health world and a, a world that what Donnie was in with, with success uh, uh, physically. So, you know, it's a message for all. And you're working now together as a, uh, a team. You're, you're part of the components of, of right, what so you're doing. We're setting, you know, I'm creating a, a, a massive movement for youth empowerment. And, of course, my, my dissertation was on the importance of physical exercise on uh, decreasing anxiety, depression, and OCD. And Donnie is, I've worked with him personally. He's, he's trained me, and he is a kind of testament to the importance of physical and, and, you know, he, he, he really, he doesn't just go in there and make you run laps and watch. He gets in there with you, he works with you, and, you know, he's someone I want to bring on board as the physical piece to my uh, entity and my massive movement for youth empowerment. And you are very physically fit. You know, I, I saw you. I have the tiger kind of guy, right? I got, I got you some, got some, you some got arthritis, some good moves. but I can still move. <laughs> I can still move. I've been doing, uh, I started, I was blessed to have a sensei um, doing Kempo for five years. I, incurred some damages and then I moved on to weightlifting and now I do Muay Thai and so I you know I I'm a fighter mentally and physically and I think we all have to be um, a warrior and, and my other favorite quote is a true warrior conquers the enemy within 
Um, so that's a me mindful piece and a, a physical piece. And how does it feel when you know that you've made a difference? I'm going to ask you that first, Donnie. How does it feel like when somebody comes up to you and you can see the change in them? Um, it's it's just it's an indescribable feeling, but in, it just feels you know you just feel good about yourself. I mean, the thing about it is when you give, you receive a lot more. So and that's what I really always love about it. Um, I just love motivating them, and then uh, just to see the successes, and then understanding that we all, no matter if we're a young or adult, that we all have the same feelings. We all have this, this, those little fears. We all had failures, but there's a chance that you can succeed, and you always will succeed. There's not a chance you will succeed. So it's a matter of you don't know when. You just gotta keep on grinding through it. Absolutely. And then, you know, sometimes you plateau in life. You know, you, you get to that certain goal. You know, I remember thinking, I'm like, okay, and yeah, I hit a dream, and then I'm like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, what am I gonna do now? Do I stop? No, you gotta dream bigger. Yeah. Right? So is that what you're doing right now? Because I've seen well, you over yeah, the years, I, and you're my, dreaming. You got yeah, something big my, going that's on exactly now. exactly how my life <laughs> Well, my parent, my, you know, people, my parents get on me, isn't that enough? And <laughs> I'm, I'm moving for the right reason. Jim Rohn, who's a f very famous business philosopher, he said, if you are basically enticed to do what you want to do for money, it's an endless game, uh, you know, an empty game. But if you're enticed for putting your, you know, your interest is in helping others, you, you know, there's no limit on helping others. I kind of want, I grow, I create this, my, my practice, I help them, then I want to move to the next step, the next step, the next step. So, I mean, helping others is a never-ending business, and I want to grow and grow and grow and move to the masses um, and help people uh, just everyone I could touch. Now, how can people sign up to work with you? So you can find me on uh, www.nyocd.com, also on www.drroblancer.com, and you can email me at nyocd1 at gmail, or you can give me a call at any time. That's 516-592-1686. Excellent. And if somebody wanted to come into the New York area, you'd be willing to work with them as well. I've worked You're with not people just from right. Ohio. Yes. I've worked with people um, from Alaska, California, Boston. They, you know, and also I'm um, a big part of my movement now is to be speaking. So I've been training with uh, Les Brown. He's a world-renowned speaker. Um, I've been down there ten times. He's going to be working with me, and we're going to go kind of on tours as well as my my mentor, Dr. Michael Jenicki, the at Harvard Medical School. You met her, I think. Met, met him, Donna. Yeah. He's a wonderful man. So I have two great mentors. Well, it's very exciting to have you both here. And I know that you, somebody special has something for me. Yeah, I got my Who's little that? boy, Max. Max, come on down. The You're the next contestant. Let's see. All right. Here, you want to sit? Oh, you, oh that's, that makes sense. Right, okay, and hold let on. Me, let me autograph this. Okay. Max, hold that. So uh, I got to meet your dad when we went up to see his friend. Um, the thing that I like best about your dad is that he's a wonderful father, Max, because I got to watch him interact with you and your siblings, and uh, he's something special. So you can always be proud of him, right? And I'm sure he inspires you to be all that you could be. Yeah, he helps me with a lot of things, and he's, he's, he's really good with helping other people. He is good with helping other people. So thank you for presenting this to me. You got right. the first cover actually out, so ah, that was the first of its kind. Excellent. All right. Uh, so uh, Max joined us, so I just want to make sure that you get a great shot of this. So uh, your new book is Rise Within, Overcoming Fear and Anxiety by Dr. Robert Lancer. Stay tuned for more on Live It Up. We've been visiting with somebody uh, that's really special to me, and he introduced me to Donnie, and now here's Max. So uh, if you're suffering in your life, definitely please check out Dr. Rob because I think he can help you. Don't be afraid. Thanks for watching.